What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over the best MLB 24 hitting settings. It don't matter what level you are at, these key tips will help elevate your game. But as always, comment down below for the algorithm and hit that red subscribe button. Let's go. Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They are offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with fast delivery. If you are interested, check the link in the description and check out more services. Use code FAT for 5% off. Thanks for your support. All right, so the number one setting that you need to worry about is what you are comfortable with. I like to have fishbowl for my inner, PCI center. I like to have nothing, nothing in the middle, no diamonds, no circles. I want to be able to track the ball from the pitcher's release point all the way until I make contact with it. Now, your camera, any strike zone, whatever you are comfortable with that gives you the best timing on outlier fastballs and off-speed pitches. Now, once you get into the game, the first thing you want to do, you want to take pitches. I know it's hard. Sometimes it looks like it's a certain pitch, but then it changes. So I want to take pitches. If I can make it a six pitch, seven pitch at bat, that's better for me. That's going to tire out the starting pitcher. He's going to be in the game for about five, five and a half innings instead of seven, seven and a half innings. Okay. So take pitches and have your key spots. So Anything that passes my PCI and stays in that area is the pitches that I want to hit. So right there, I'm making him pitch to me. I am not chasing sliders early in the count that comes through the strike zone and then goes out. I'm not chasing sinkers in the strike zone that stays in the strike zone and then goes out. I want pitches to me that I am comfortable with that I don't have to move the PCI as much. So that's center, center, and then up pitches. So you can see, I'm watching where the pitcher's release is at. Boom, he throws a sinker in the strike zone. Remember what your pitchers do. Hard pitch, hard pitch. One in the strike zone, one out the strike zone. Now we're waiting for something that's going to stay in the strike zone now that we got the timing down. That one comes in the strike zone, then goes out of the strike zone. This one below the strike zone. So three, one, count. Give me something to hit with two runners on base. I want to make sure I am under the ball because I don't want a double play. We make good contact right there. It's an out, but we get the runner off a third, okay, instead of a double play. Right there, it comes in the zone. You wait, it goes out of the zone. I want something that comes in my PCI and stays in the PCI. And right there, perfect, perfect, bomb. This is exactly how you should go to the plate every single time. If it's a 2-2 two -two count, 3-2 count, that means that you are having a great at bat. Now, right here, you're going to see he's going to eventually switch his pitcher right here. He's taking that guy out. We are seeing him very good, bringing a different person. The same process. Boom. Fastball. Hard pitch. Out of the zone. Not through my PCI. Right here. Boom. A pitch comes in the PCI, but then it goes out. I'm patient. I want a certain type of pitch. That went straight down the middle, and it was a cutter. We laid off of it. Harder pitch to hit. That one through the PCI and then out of the zone. Now we're going to be patient. Get the timing of the pitch. Another perfect, perfect. Okay? So have your sweet spot, the pitches that you like to swing at. If they dot you up and you get struck out because it's a pitch to the outside that you didn't want to swing at, that's okay. Eventually, it's going to be a mistake pitch, and you're going to be hitting perfect perfects and bombs. Let's go. Hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you use the code down below for my sponsor. Get one big amount of stubs, and then be done with it. Cheapest stubs and the best tips. Let's go.